Hey guys, and welcome back to the cave. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit more somber. Uh, it's actually three years since I started collecting Funko Pops, and I was originally going to do a video on that, but um, as many of you know, uh, sometime this morning, uh, we lost Stan Lee at the age of 95, and... Anyone who's known me since, like, my college days or anything knows that I didn't particularly care for Marvel for the longest time. But over the past couple years, I've really grown to appreciate it and immerse myself into it. Um, whether it's, you know, Funko Pops, Lego sets, the movies, comics, whatever. Um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit on the impact that Marvel has had on me the past couple years. Um, just, if you want to call it a tribute to Stan Lee, you can, but I, it's just something that I wanted to talk about. As many of you know, last July, I lost my dad to cancer. Um, and in the weeks leading up to him passing, uh, it was a very stressful time for me, just, you know, getting out and about, being social, trying to cope with everything that was going on, and one of my professors from college hit me up one day and was like, hey, my son and I are going to go see the new Spider-Man movie, do you want to go? And I was like, of course, I haven't seen it yet. This movie looks cool. I want to see Spider-Man Homecoming. Let's do it. And I just remember going and seeing that movie and just being amazed at how well done the movie was, how hilarious yet another one of Stan's cameos was. And I just remember standing out in the parking lot of the movie theater with uh, my professor and his son for like 45 minutes just talking about Spider-Man comics and how accurate a lot of the stuff in this movie was to the old comics. And that was one of those pivotal moments that really helped get me through one of the more traumatic events that I've dealt with in life. Um... You know, I found a lot of comfort in these superhero movies now just because of the whole universe, how they're connected, whether it's Spider-Man Homecoming, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Thor Ragnarok, just all those movies from 2017 were so pivotal and important for me just as something else to immerse myself in, um, along with, you know, the Star Wars universe, uh, whatever else I'm immersed in. So Marvel became a very big part of what I like to dive into for comfort and solace when I'm, you know, in these really crappy moods or just depressed or dealing with stuff. So, you know, we've got Captain Marvel, Avengers 4, eventually, I'm assuming, Guardians Volume 3 coming out, but... Considering it's been, you know, 20 years now of this Marvel Universe, starting with Iron Man, just seeing how much impact these characters that Stan have created have had on people over these 20 years, nearly my entire life, is just bizarre and wild to me, and I can't be more grateful for the impact he's had um, on Marvel and these collective movies and just I don't want to turn this into a huge rambling and stuff because I know I'm gonna get all emotional <laughs> I guess all there's left to say is I'm really gonna miss uh you know watching all these goofy interviews with Stan all the hilarious you know lines he had in his cameos and um I'm just really thankful for the Marvel Universe and the community that's been built around it because of Stan um, and his work. That's really all I have for today, so if you want to, let me know in the comments what's your favorite Marvel movie or comic or something that Stan has either worked on 
or had some connection to, just let me know in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we'll be right back here next week. I am the Bearded Padawan, and may the Force be with you.